Welcome to well, we got to go. <laughs> yeah. Happy Thursday, everybody! What a day! What a day! Uh, I feel like everybody's like sort of ready for time off and vacation, yeah. and yeah, a lot of people are traveling, yep. flying, hitting yeah. the roads. Right. We want to know: Are you traveling or flying this weekend for the Fourth of July? Are you going out of town, or are you just staying here? I know it, it's kind of weird with it being on a Tuesday. I do know several people that do have to work on Monday, mm -hmm. and they're off. Tuesday, yep. where normally in the past it's been like on a Monday or the weekend, weekend you have yeah, a long a, weekend or whatever. So that's kind of some right. people just take a whole week off. on a Wednesday. That's right. Some that's people right. are taking Stand a whole that weekend. week off. I th yeah. Things are hopefully a little back to normal at Charlotte Douglas this morning after mm -hmm. um, an emergency landing yesterday. Yeah. Uh, a flight from Atlanta yesterday morning oh. having to make an emergency landing there on one of the runways because uh, the nose uh, wasn't down. So. Um, I thought we had video of that, but evidently we don't. So let's get to Richard. Why not? Richard. <laughs> I'm right here, guys. I'm right here, go. guys. But Ben, what you said is very true. Basically, yeah, basically what you said is very true about the ripple effect. Now, even though those folks landed safely, yesterday we were experiencing this average of 30 minutes when things got back to normal. But some flights were canceled. I want to show you something. I'm going to step out of the way. Look at this line. I've spoken to at least three people. This is the United line. A couple flights canceled, and because these are a lot of folks who have to check in, they, 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 they have tickets where they have to go to the counter in order to get a boarding pass to go. I've spoken to two people who actually have missed flights because the lines are so long they can't get their ticket from the from the kiosk or the, the counter here to go through TSA. Now they've, that means they've missed their flight. That's a, a, a lady I'm just sitting down talking to who was on her way to Houston. Another lady who was distraught because she said the flight before her was canceled and she sees this line and she's not gonna be able to get through the gate on time for her flight, which I think was leaving at 7.05 and it was 6.55, so she was very upset. So that's just the point of uh, folks should know that. When you buy certain tickets that are restricted like that, like United, I know for those those uh, lo lowest price uh, fares, they'll tell you you need, like you can't check a bag. They want to make sure you don't bring a bag on board or carry on. They'll tell you to go to the counter first. If you have that type of ticket, this is the type of thing that can happen. Also, in, in one person's case, they have to check a pet. So these are all the things that you have to know before you come to the airline. So it's important to call because we're expecting record crowds this weekend. We're expecting more than we've had at the biggest times before the pandemic. Yes, we're back before the pandemic, but of course, now we're seeing those crowds and increase of anywhere from 10 to 13 percent over the next several days. Today, really kicking that off in earnest. You see lines like this here as far as United. We've also seen some long lines at the TSA. There are some tips to get through. They just, one of the things you need to know that if you, for instance, are leaving from A concourse or B concourse, you don't necessarily need to go through that TSA checkpoint. You can go through any TSA checkpoint except for if, as long as you don't have to go through the TSA pre-check. If you have one, you can go through that line. But if you don't have a pre-check, you can uh, go through any of the checkpoints and then you can make your way to that particular concourse. They have walkways and things like that and people get out of your way, especially if you're in a rush. Um, that is some of what's going on right here at Charlotte Douglas. I'm waiting for my flight, but I'm, I'm working now. <laughs> oh, if I but you know what? It's good because if I could be off till Wednesday, that wouldn't be called regular hours like I do. That would be called. Benjamin Thompson hours. Please. Oh, no, okay. Ben, Ben's you know, going to be here all you, next week. You know week. who's going to be here for the next week, every single ben. day? Ben for, 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 for once, for once, for ben, once. Ben Thompson's going to be here every day for the next week. Uh, so, Richard, I, I know uh, from experiencing it myself uh, and being there and covering it like, like you are, that a lot of times those crowds go in waves. At 5 a.m., there'll be a huge wave, and then Absolutely. they'll all clear out. And then at 6 a.m., is that what, what's happening this morning, or is it pretty much just consistent all through the morning, nothing but crowds? Now, now, I have to be honest, this, this United line has been here since this morning, but like one of the points, one of the little tricks that we've been telling people throughout the years, when you come to the airport in the morning, if you have a flight that, say, leaves at 9 o'clock and you see these long lines, 
go to one of the other TSA uh, gates that are not open yet because they'll probably open right before your flight. You'll be able to walk right on through. It goes in waves. You're absolutely correct. So you have to catch that, that proper wave. Talk to, to one of the agents. They can tell you, point you in the right direction. Uh, they know which way to go. Hey, there's our buddy. Come here, buddy. This is our buddy. Come on. He's coming from Houston. Look what we got today. Can you get that? Oh, he's on his way to Houston. Had a chance to get out. <laughs> he's looking I'm not at sure mama. If there was going to be a kid at that. He's no, looking yeah. at mama. Or a child. Or, or, a, or a TSA uh, dog. On a and leash? I'm like, Richard, you don't touch uh, those. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love how the person just gave you their dog. <laughs> wow. They trust We're friends. You. She's, 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 she's going to Houston. Oh, everyone trusts me. <laughs> but a lady did say today, uh, no, wait, let me tell you this. A lady did say, is that she saw the camera equipment. She says, is that the camera equipment? Or is that for the news? Yes, that's for the news. And she says, okay, where's the uh, pretty person who does the news? And I was what? like, uh, what do you mean? <laughs> the, the person who's very smiley and does the news. I said, oh, that would be me. She says, oh, it's you? <laughs> Wow. I just talked. She's sitting there. She said, oh, it's you. I was like, okay. <laughs> what can I do? The pretty hey. person that does the news. Mm. Richard, the shade. Pretty person. The shade. Right. You are in our book, yeah. Richard. You are a pretty Very person. pretty. You look great. Right. Thank right. you. That means a lot to her, right? <laughs> it does. It does. All right, Richard. Thanks, thanks guy. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, right. We have some people chiming in. Melissa saying she just got back from Miami. Good for you, So Melissa. she's not traveling for the fourth. Uh, Joy saying, I'm staying home. My dog is afraid of fireworks. And John Kelly saying, glad I'm not flying for the next five to seven days. Because I can only imagine if it looks pretty busy behind him today, how much busier it's going to get tomorrow, uh, tomorrow and over the weekend. Uh, oh, yeah, it's terrible. The Think about it. We do these shots several times a year. But as they mentioned before, this is the busiest it's been since pre-pandemic. Yeah, yeah people are ready to get so out in trouble. Now you're actually seeing it kind of mm -hmm. back to normality. Yeah. So, You have a lot wow. of pent up demand yeah, like, because they think we were still coming out of the <laughs> pandemic last summer yeah and so i feel like a lot and, and other people had tried to travel had mm -hmm. things canceled yeah. so i feel like this is the first summer in like four or five years where you could book with some assurity that it's going to go through and happen exactly. and that's, maybe that's <laughs> what <laughs> hopefully well if you get to the airport on time yeah um, you have to get there uh, early i mean what do they say like three hours and that's like parking in in your gate so you don't uh, Mr. Flight, like some of those people Richard was talking about that just got there, the lines were too long, and they just didn't make it. I remember back in the day when you could literally get there uh, uh, two and minutes just run. before you fly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, there were several times I literally ran onto a flight, yeah. jumped on, yep. and then they closed the door. Not Boy, anymore. No, no way. Yeah. No. Long yeah. gone are those days, Larry. I remember it so well. <laughs> those way were back. the days. <laughs> well, I hope wherever you're going, you enjoy it. And yes. it's worth it because the traveling part is, is stressful and or just not just, fun. Just stay here with us. Yeah. We'll be right here. We'll be, we'll be here, here. Yeah. tomorrow, next week, every morning. Yeah. And we'll be doing Wake Up Show as you go as well. Yes, that's right. that's right. All right, folks, have a great one. Um, if we don't see you again, have a great holiday. Yeah. And Safe if not, travels. we'll see you back here yeah. tomorrow morning. Bye.